Good morning, YouTube. Hi. I am at the Hilton right now. <laughs> it's been a crazy week, guys. So I wanted to let you guys know about this last experience. And sorry, my hair is like an orange, I think, right now. I got a haircut and a color, and it's the color is a little bright. So I'm trying to see. <clears throat> what? Yeah, it's a little orange. <laughs> But you would not believe the last week. Um, so basically, I had to leave the other Airbnb because um, her, the people's parents were coming in town. So I found another one. I thought it would be a cute little cottage um, in the campground that I intended to stay at. So I could also check the campground out. It had a pool and all that stuff. Um, I moved in and it was just weird from the beginning. Um, it was an older lady that lived there. It smelled like mothballs. It reminded me of my grandma's trailer in Georgia, which wasn't bad. It was just, you know, I wasn't crazy about it, but I could, could have dealt with it. Um, I put all my stuff in the fridge and while doing so noticed that there was a carton of eggs in the one little fridge and there was a, ba a box of potatoes in the other little fridge. So I said, okay, I'll let her, I'm in the midst of what I'm doing. So I didn't text her or call her right away. I said, I'll let her know um, that she left some stuff in here. So, went on, you know, about my day. It was busy. I don't know what I did that day. But, um, went to bed that night. There's a picture of a creepy boy in the corner of the bedroom. And it's a big picture. And he's looking at you. And he's, he's not really looking at you, but he's looking out at the room. And he's crying. There's tears streaming down his face. It's sad as hell. And... I decided to Google it. There's a curse attached to the picture and a whole story about it, um, talking about how these kids, this famous, I guess he was, I don't know if he was famous, took a picture of this, these, he would draw pictures of these kids at this orphanage back in 18 something something. So this painting, I think, has been featured in, like, horror shows and stuff like that. Like, it's just a story um, attached to this picture. <laughs> Even saying that firefighters refuse to have the picture in their house because when they see houses uh, burn down, everything burns to the ground except for this picture. So it's really weird. The picture's creepy. I'm sorry. I don't like it. So I, but I managed to sleep that night. Um, I also had a weird experience that day. Um, hey, Facebook. I'm back out here. I'm outside at the Hilton. Just a little pan around. This is, my, this is my life right now. So I got my little coffee. There's some kind of um, expensive watch company over there. I forgot the name, Ulysses or something like that. So this is a continuation of yesterday. My phone had um, too much memory stored on it, so I had to delete some stuff. So what happened was <laughs> I had an experience at the, in that room the first day you ever um, go to bed and you wake up but you can't move so I felt like I was being pinned so I woke up and that little boy was staring at me crying so that just put a damper on the whole thing it was so weird so anyway you had the lady came she took her potatoes out I think I got to that part, right? 
I came back, I went to get pizza and I came back and the potatoes were gone. And she said she was cooking and had to come in and get it. So she came into my place without telling me. She never texted me, called me, nothing. And she had plenty of time because, um, I don't know. It was, it was like I came back, I ate the pizza and everything. I think I laid down for a while. Then I came back to put the pizza away before I went to bed for real. So all that time, she never texted me or anything. Creepy boy staring at me all day. I'm still kind of shook about that um, experience when I was asleep. So the whole place was just weird. And then I'm like, now I don't know what to think about her. And it was just so weird. So what else happened? So I go to work the next day. I come home. I'm chilling. Um, I think I was there like five minutes. This big giant cockroach ran across the wall. And they say Florida has these huge cockroaches. I know it wasn't the biggest one they have here, but it was crazy. So I went into the bathroom. I called her on the phone. She came in, moved furniture, everything, got this cockroach. And I'm sorry, I feel like I kind of feel like I said this already. By the way, I did fix my hair because it was orange yesterday. So I got it um, like a wine color over top of it. So my roommate happens to be a hairdresser. She's a nurse, but in her former life, she was a hairdresser. So she, she mixed up the bleach and the dye and she hooked me up. Um, I did need the haircut, so I'm glad I got the haircut from the other place. Um, let's see, what else happened? Um, so after the cockroach, that's when I called Diana, my friend, and said, look, I need somewhere to stay. And she's like, you should have been here all along because she had been trying to get me to stay at this hotel. I, um, she has two dogs, and then I have a whole bunch of stuff, and she has one bedroom and a pull-out couch. So I knew it would be tight. And the, the I keep wanting to cook, but there's no kitchen, although there's a fridge and a microwave. So right now you're just heating up leftovers. Um, you can make a sandwich or something, but that's about all you're going to do. But luckily at this Hilton, we have happy hour. We have free breakfast, you know, eggs, sausage, bacon, all kinds of toast, yogurt, cereal, milk coffee tea so you can definitely make do you can grab some boiled eggs some oranges like stuff to keep in your room so you know you can save a lot of money and then you have um water i think she gets two free water bottles because she's like some kind of you know platinum diamond member or something like that so anyway that's what happened to me at the airbnb I was invited to go back and stay with uh, Giselle and Randy at the house with the pool. Um, and they finally got their boat back, so I was invited to um, come on their boat. Someone else invited me on a yacht, because their brother or somebody has a yacht. Um, the lady at the car dealership invited me over for the holiday. Um, this is my, Today is Memorial Day. So she invited me over for, um, I guess like a barbecue or whatever. So it's just like, you know, I'm by myself, but I don't feel alone because um, if you want something to do, you can always go do something. Yesterday, me and Diana went to uh, see the movies. We went to see Cruella at the movies. So that was fun. And then we came back and went to happy hour, you know. And then, then you know the bartender. So it's like you always know somebody. <laughs> you know, once you go to a place with a bar a couple times, you know the bartender. So if nothing else, you can do that. I think I'm going to go to a lot more movies by myself. Um, because I just don't feel that weird doing things by yourself thing has finally lifted, I think, for me. And you just do it. Like, there's just nothing to it. It's, it's weird. It's like, why do you let this stuff stop you in the past? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's just you're shy. You're just scared of the unknown or something. But 
you just going to go and you're going to watch the movie or you're going to go eat or whatever it is you want to do. You're just by yourself, just like if you were by yourself, you know, going grocery shopping or, um, you know, clothes shopping or something. Like, it's no big deal with that, right? So why would it be a big deal any other time? Sorry, I'm sweating, y'all. I'm glad I wore the right glasses today. That was really miserable yesterday. Um, I'm not sure what else I wanted to talk to y'all about, but I wanted to just share with y'all about this Airbnb. So I'm not sure what to do as far as leaving her a review. I don't want to be mean, but I do want her to know not to go into people's place without letting them know. So I may just send her a private message telling her that. Um, I don't want to trash her Airbnb account because I'm just not that kind of person. Um, on a positive note, um, my truck is all done except for the mirror. They tried to put an aftermarket mirror in and it didn't work. So now they have to buy a Ford mirror. So now I got to wait for that to come in. So that sucks because what a waste of time. Geico's so cheap, they didn't want to just pay for the $700 Ford mirror. Yes, the Ford truck mirror is $700, at least. Might be $800, I'm not sure. Um, and the RV, she said it would be done by Friday to just pass, so I'm hoping that it is actually done. Um, so I'll talk to her, I guess, on Tuesday, since today is a holiday. Actually, it may be open, but she's probably not working today. Um... I don't know where I'll stay because it's like I really can't even start inquiring because I don't have any dates. Like you need a date to even make a reservation or anything. Maybe I could drive around to a couple places, see if I like them, but I don't know. It's just weird. Until I know I can get it back and it's coming, um, I'm just really not being real urgent about it. I probably Hey, I'm back. Ran out of storage again. So, uh, what I did was delete more stuff. So, I think this time <laughs> I can finish saying what I need to say. Um, so, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But, I think I'll be here till at least Saturday. I think um, Saturday, maybe I'll get my truck and my RV back this weekend coming up. So, we will see. We will see. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the job. They want me to extend. But the doctors are assholes. Staff is nice. Job isn't really hard. But because the doctors are assholes, um, it makes the work hard because you just have to do go back to back. You're like... Um, being ran like a slave basically um, like you don't have time to stop and pee you don't have time to take a break you just um, go you just work 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 you get a 30 minute lunch break and then you work 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 and then because they're assholes you may have to stay late to do cases that they don't want to push off to the next day um, or have, sometimes you even have to sit around till they're done office hours. Then they'll come back at 5 o'clock to finish their cases when you're supposed to get off at 5.30. Usually the call team are the ones that stay. But sometimes, even if you're not on call, you get stuck staying. Just not quite as late as the call team. The call team could stay to like 10 o'clock at night. But, you know, if you're just like a you just working and you just get stuck in a case, you might just have to finish that case and then you can, um, you know, then you can go home. So it might be like 6 o'clock or something like that. So, I love the area. I love the beaches. I just, the location is amazing. You're north of, um, about an hour north of Miami. So you're like a half an hour from Fort Lauderdale. Like just everything is there. You can kayak, you can go on boats, tours. You got the Everglades if you actually wanna um, do one of them alligator things. But I'm cool just like being hanging out at the beach 
I want to go parasailing. Like, there's still a lot of things I haven't done yet because I've been moving around on my off days. I'm always moving from here to there or just trying to get settled or just trying to catch up on wash or food shopping or, you know, grooming items or whatever I need to do for myself. So I actually got a lot done this weekend. I got my nails done. I'm going to show y'all my feet because I'm happy that I got my feet done. Can you see my feet? So, um, got my eyebrows arched yesterday. Um, finally, I got my dentist and all my teeth stuff done. Um, I really need some eyelashes, but I put mascara on today, which I don't normally do, but I, I feel kind of cute now. Finally got a haircut. Got no gray, so I'm happy, y'all. I'm happy. It's probably TMI, but I don't care. Um, I feel like we should just be real with each other. I always keep it real. And if you don't like that, don't watch. You know. I think now I'm at a point where the lady did my feet. I'm like, now nah, I gotta shave my legs. Uh. <laughs> So I guess that's I'll do that. Maybe today I'll do that. Um, and I don't go. I'm not very hairy, so it's just a few little strands. I just I don't know. I just I just I'm just not hairy. Never have been. I didn't even know what shaving your legs was so probably I was about 40 years old um, when my daughter started doing it. So yeah, everything's good. Um, I'm out here. It's probably 80 degrees or so. There's a breeze. This fountain is just blowing this uh, the mist over. Where are we with this fountain? So it's just it's just beautiful, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. The dogs are just so good. I don't know if I mentioned she had these. Uh, Diana has two dogs. And they're great. And she's a Trekkie. Do you believe it? A Trekkie like me. So I'm going to try to like splice these different pictures, these different videos together. And hopefully um, it'll make a nice video. I also got to work on all the pictures I have. I've been getting pictures of all these um, birds. I'm going to show you this. I'm watching these ducks right now. I'm going to flip the camera. So the ducks are sitting right there. I don't know how much I can zoom into this. They're right there. I can't get any closer because they may run away. But it's a duck there. And it's um, it's a mom and a bunch of babies. I just can't get any closer. Because I don't think they're going to stay still back there. So anyway, you guys, I, I really wish you all the best. Um, things are looking up. Thanks for um, hanging with me and listening to my story. Hopefully we'll have some more RV fit type things going on. Um, I'm starting to recontemplate the RV thing because I'm just seeing so many more things I like better than the RV life. But I'm happy I got to experience it. And of course I'll have to experience it for a little while longer. I think if I was traveling, it'd be a lot nicer. Um, I'm thinking about even finding an RV park further away, even if I have to drive like an hour to work every day. And then just when I'm on call, stay closer to the hospital. If that's going to make like my quality of life better as far as when I'm at home. I don't want to be at some dumpy campground with nothing to do, no nice pool. And you know a bunch of i don't want to say bums but just like a lower i don't want to say lower class of people because that's not what i mean but just um i like a more luxury type place i'll put it that way so i don't want to be at the bottom barrel trailer park i really want to be like a, a rv resort type place that's the best way i can say it because i just like i just like having some amenities and things you know I just don't want like just somewhere to park my trailer I actually want there to be things to do there and nice people to meet 
and not have to worry about my safety and that someone's going to steal my truck or go into my RV when I'm not there, you know, stuff like that. Like, I'm really, it's not a ego or I think I'm better thing. It's more of a safety issue. So, you guys have a great Memorial Day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.